Hello and welcome to this video. Oh my God, it is officially break. My last final was on Monday. Today is Saturday. This video is coming out tomorrow and oh my God, it's break. And because it is break, that means that I finally, finally have time to read and not just read things that I had to read for school. I have time to read the things that I've been putting on a list for the last five months that I've only gotten to read school books. So I'm very pumped. On the topic of reading, this is the second year in a row that I have done a Goodreads reading challenge and both years, uh, 2019 and 2020, I set my goal for the year at 40 books. And that sounds like a lot and it is a lot, but it's doable. It's completely doable. You don't have to be um, jobless. You don't have to have a pandemic going on. You don't have to, you know, be a kid with no rent to worry about. Although I am a kid with no rent to worry about. But anyway, I don't read like an astronomical amount of time. I read like 30 pages a day sometimes or other times, you know, I'll skip a day. I am not like an avid, like constant, like, oh, I have to get my pages in for the day. And sometimes I am, sometimes I want to be reading, but really what it is, is I just like reading. And so it's just something that I do the way that, you know, I, if I enjoy getting on Pinterest and looking at, you know, home decor, like I do, I read the same way that I do that. I read the same way that I get on Instagram. If I have, you know, two bonus minutes here, I read a book. So um, today I want to talk about why I started doing the Goodreads challenge, uh, how I started doing the Goodreads challenge, and then kind of like why I continue to do the Goodreads challenge. Because it, 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 if I just like reading, why do I hold myself to such a standard? You know, why don't I just read when I want to read? So um, I'm going to start with the why I started doing this. For the most part, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm an English major and I generally like reading. And reading also is supposed to make you better at writing, which is important to me as someone who wants to be a good writer. But I, I know that it also probably has a lot to do with the fact that I started making friends with people who were very well read and I wanted to get on their level. And um, I, I read a good bit already, but I didn't read on a constant schedule. I didn't read regularly. I would read one book in a month and then I would read two books in the next month and then I wouldn't read a book for a month. Like I was just not consistent with reading. And I also didn't really have a list of books that I wanted to read. I kind of just picked up whatever. So I started doing the Goodreads challenge. You know, I would put books in my want to read list and then, you know, as I would check them off, you know, put them in my Goodreads challenge list to kind of keep track of like, okay, I want to read more books by this kind of author, or okay, I want to read more books about this topic so that I could, you know, kind of pace myself and read the things I wanted to be reading, but also the things that I felt like I should be reading for learning, school, writing, etc. I feel like this is one of those rare occasions where comparing myself to someone else made me a better person um, for comparing myself to my friends who are also a good bit older than me who read a lot. You know, I was less like, I think because they were older than me, I was I, I was able to separate the situation and be less like, oh, why am I not like that? And be more like, oh, you know, I should become a per I should do that. I like what they do. I'm going to do what they're doing. And so that was really, I think, very good for me that I met those people because it, it kind of inspired me to get a move on with all my reading. And I'm very, very glad that I did. On to the how. It's not that hard. It really isn't. And when people say, you know, there are all these videos being recommended to me on YouTube all the time that are like how to read more, how I read so much. And I don't know why YouTube thinks I need those videos, but it, how to read more? Read. Like I don't, I don't know. Uh, read. If you don't like reading, you're not going to read more. I saw a video at one point called Bookstores. It's just like a little mini documentary on YouTube and I'll link it in the description. Um, and at one point, uh, one of the guys in the video references how many half hours there are in the day. If there are 24 hours in the day, say that you're, you know, fully awake for 14 of those hours. That means that there are 28 half hours in the day. You can use one of those and probably knock 40 books out in a year. You can use one of those half hours per day. If you use two half hours, maybe not one. Yeah, one. You could totally do that in one half hour. And, and then you're going to get into a book and then one day you're going to spend two hours. You're going to spend four of your half hours reading and it's just going to happen because that's just what happens. But I think that was one of the main things that made me be like, oh, you know what? It's, it's, it's really just a time thing. I also take a book where, with me wherever I go. I have like, um, Pushkin Press makes these little short story sets and I just finished my first one and I bought another one yesterday because I finished the other one and it fits right in my purse. And that's the one that I use when I like, I drive for Uber. So when I'm waiting for like food to come out or waiting for something, I'll, you know, read three pages of a short story while I wait, or sometimes if it's a long wait, I'll read 10 pages and then I'll get very angry, but that's a helpful one. And then I keep a book at home and I take a book to school and I take a book to work. I take a book everywhere. It, two, three pages there add up to about 25 a day. Like it's not that hard. Every time that you get distracted and you need a distraction and look at your phone, take out your Instagram, like just 
read instead. Like that's how you're really going to knock out pages without, you know, actively trying to, okay, I have to sit down and I have to knock out 30 pages. That's just not plausible for everyone, but I will say that it is very, very rewarding at the end of the day, which takes us to the why. Why do I read 40 books a year? Why do I feel the need to keep myself on that kind of a strict schedule? Part of it is that I know that if I am on a schedule, I will be more likely to finish books that I might have put back otherwise. And I know they always say, don't try and finish books that you don't like. Don't worry about reading them. For me, a lot of times, if a book is difficult, it's difficult for a good reason and it, it's it's difficult in a way that's that's going to help me be better at writing so that's not necessarily applicable to everyone for example like I don't think I would have finished reading Freedom by Jonathan Franzen had I not been halfway through it and thought god I'm trying to get through 40 I gotta knock this book out you know at the end of the day I, I actually ended up loving that book by the end so I think that's one really good reason that doesn't happen for every book some books I finish and I'm like god I'm glad to be done with that but in the, at least in the case of Freedom that book turned me on to Jonathan Franzen and I Jonathan Franzen, quite possibly one of my f top five, fa top three favorite writers probably. So very, very thankful that I was doing the challenge at least to get me through that book. But in other cases, I feel like it's, it's just, it's almost a motivator. I look at it and I'm like, oh, 40, okay, I can do this. And then it makes me want to read more. I don't know why. It's just one of those little things. Uh, so start a reading challenge if you want. I also think reading in general just kind of gives me an increased understanding of like new ideas, new situations, new dynamics, new kinds of people, etc. Like, I'm not a very adventurous person, so I think that reading, the book smarts that I gain from reading makes up for my lack of street smarts, my absolute lack of street smarts. And I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, you should live a life completely devoid of street smarts and completely made up of book smarts, but I am saying that that is generally what I'm doing, and so far, I'm not doing badly. So. Clearly, it, it, it's better than nothing. Reading also calms me down. It gets me ready to go to bed. It, it, it's, I, uh, it's in that same bookstore documentary, uh, one woman, and it says that reading is like a forced meditation, which I really thought was, it, w it is c completely accurate. I, I think that that's exactly what it is. Um, and I have a difficult time meditating sometimes. And so when I do, I will read and it kind of pulls me back into a place that's just not mine. So I can forget about my place because I'm in someone else's. Reading makes you smarter. Reading makes you a better writer. And I think that reading has made me more empathetic and more understanding of situations that I might not have been as open to, you know, looking through thoroughly before had I not, you know, oh, well, that's funny. This is kind of like that character in that book that I really liked. Why am I okay with this character, but not with this person? And so it's something like that, you know, where it makes you kind of all around be more open-minded about new things, if, especially if you're the kind of person like me who's so comfort-based. And if something's not familiar, I get a little pointy. So <laughs> at least familiarizing myself with something in a book first and then meeting it in real life makes me a little more open to either accepting those things or bringing those things into my life. I'm being so vague. I'm sure you can understand what I mean. Just take this into whatever is currently in your life that you're not comfortable with and be like, maybe if I'd read a book about that first, I would be okay with that. But who knows? Anyway, that's generally all. I hope that this video inspired you to read more to either start a Goodreads challenge or start a challenge of your own. You don't have to be on Goodreads, I just am. And if you're interested, I left all the 40 books that I read this year. And actually I'm on my 40th book right now, so I went ahead and put that one, but I'm only like 100 pages from the end and I've got, you know, what is it, December 20th? So I've got plenty of time. Um, I will be finishing that book this week and I might even get another one in before the month ends. I don't know, but I did put all those books in the description, or at least I plan on putting them all in the description. I hope it doesn't go over the like character count, but I don't think it will. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.